Most engine swaps and conversions these days are changing internal combustion cars into EVs, but we found someone that could not be further in the other direction. Never mind internal combustion, how about powering a car by external combustion? I don't know how to describe this really. It is exactly what it looks like. This is a 1967 Land Rover and that is a steam engine. Before we take a proper look around one of the coolest vehicles I've ever seen, I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's video. I'm lucky enough to get to go to most car shows in the UK, but even at a show as epic as the Silverstone Classic, you do need to take breaks throughout the day, and those are the perfect opportunities to play Raid Shadow Legends. If you're like me and you like Lord of the Rings and other fantasy bits and pieces, this game should be right up your street. It's got orcs, elves, wizards, knights, all the good stuff. I chose the beast that is Galex, my beginner champion, because he combines the deadly cross slash with the Hellraiser attack, which basically obliterates any enemy in front of him. And this month, Raids just released a ton of amazing new clan features and improvements. There are brand new quests for you and your clan members to work on together, new benefits for every clan member just for being in a clan, and even a brand new clan shop that gives you access to some incredibly powerful items. So if you're into strategy and fantasy games, click the link in the description below or scan the QR code right here to get a decent head start in the game where you will start with the Hero Chinoru along with 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion once in the game. Okay, now I'd like to introduce you guys to a man called Frank. Frank, you're a fascinating man and this is a fascinating vehicle. How did you get into Steam and how did this project come about? Uh, like everybody else, what do you do on a Sunday afternoon? I go to something, I went to a Steam Traction Engine rally yep. and I saw the big Steam Traction Engines there, but I also saw these miniature ones. And I thought, wow, they must be really good engineers to be able to make something so small. Like this one over here? Well, this one over here, but I cheated, I bought a kit. This is a model of a approximately 1910 Ford and steam wagon. I, I built this in my garage, thousand hours, and I named it after my wife, which is customary. Very cool. My darling wife, Judith, of 50 years. We married 50 years now. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You know, I thought, what else could I do? I'd like to make a, a full size one or maybe something else, you know? So well, maybe I could probably put a steam engine in another vehicle. Maybe it would go in a Land Rover. So I started measuring the the chassis dimensions of a Land Rover and estimating the weight of the engine and gearbox, transfer gearbox and front diff, estimated the weight of the steam engine yeah. in this, and uh, goodness gracious, they're not too dissimilar. Wow, okay. So when I got the Land Rover first, before I dismantled too much, I took the Land Rover engine out and I made a dummy plywood engine and it fitted a treat. So bin the box, <laughs> engine out, engine in, yeah. I had to take the front diff out, so it's not a four-wheel drive anymore, it's just a two-wheel drive. So this is a rear-wheel drive steam Land Rover then? Uh, it's not a four, it's not a four before. I'm out of the four <laughs> before club now. <laughs> they won't let me back in now. Can I have a sit in it? Oh, certainly, yeah. The seat's not adjustable though. Okay. <laughs> right, the first thing, I can only see one pedal. Guess which that is? I what? imagine it's the brake. Yes, and because it's got... in the middle. <laughs> you, you knew it was a full brake, it's in the middle. Yes. Isn't it? So, yeah, all we do, all we're bothered about is stopping safely. Safety, 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 stopping safely. So we have that, and also the handle to the extreme left, that's the handbrake. Right, okay. Again, that's and the same move. handbrake lever from this vehicle. Okay. Uh, and uh, I've had to fix a disc brake onto the prop shaft. So that works a treat as well. So you've got a foot brake and you've got a handbrake. Okay, and then throttle? Throttle is at the centre, that's a, that's a throttle, yeah. Okay. The backward goes fast, forward goes slow, and then what happens is that uh, when you go around the road, you might get some, somebody in the road, so you have to get them out of the way. So, see the yellow lever in the middle? Middle yes. of the screen, yep. pull that. Yeah. Doot, doot. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, okay. So that's, that's your that. horn. Oh, that's a horn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can say I've never been in a car where I can visibly see kindling. 
So explain what this firebox is here. Well, that's exactly what this is. And uh, we don't call it kindling, we call it sticks. Right, and then I get a diesel rag, a rag salt in diesel, which we light, and we put it on top of the kindling. Okay. So the, the diesel, burning diesel rag, sets fire to the kindling in two or three minutes, and then once it starts to go, we then start firing coal on top of it. What about the name? Mildred. Well, when I bought this, the bloke who had it before me, he'd used it for trialling. And uh, when, they, when he bought it, it was covered in mildew. Okay. So they called it Mildred. And I thought, what a cracking name. So now on its logbook, it says, name of manufacturer, it's a Mildred. I've got the only Mildred car in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no other, no other mate for old Mildred. So in terms of starting this up, it's not going to be on a key, is it? This is going to take some no. doing to oh, get this going. Oh, no. What we have to do, first of all, there's a procedure we have to go through before we can start it up. Safety checks, oil it up, all that type of thing. And so that's why I've got an assistant. OK. Gilbert! Once Gilbert had stoked the landy into life, the local wildlife cowered in fear as we hit the road. Is this definitely road legal? Oh yeah. Yeah? So what's the max speed of this? About, uh, about 12. About 12. Okay. Like, we're going now as fast as the jogging to be down with flight. Unbelievable. Into the downhill bit now. <laughs> it's amazing seeing all the grease. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's everywhere. It is, yeah. Full spring out of there, and wow, the smell of it as well. Oh, I love it. Fantastic. Don't know if it'll be very good for you, but <laughs> what's the furthest you've driven it? Oh, three miles, uh, told me back. <laughs> The AA are not interested in this, you know. <laughs> I don't want to get cover steam here for the AA. Oh, I'm getting, getting covered in suits. Oh, no! <laughs> so is that suit spitting out of the chimney? Yeah. Wow. Nice! Hey! Hey! <laughs> this is a cross country. <laughs> Remember, you're only rear wheel drive now. Oh, <laughs> look at that steam going out of there. Wow. I'm going to put some cool on it. Look at it. I love external combustion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a thing. Can you get a roll? I would love to have a go. All right then. You need to take me through it all oh, again. Oh, I'll take you through it all again. <laughs> Things I did not think I'd be doing in 2021. Right. Okay, right, so, handbrake. Yes. That lever is the gear lever, the gear lever forward to go, sorry, back to go forward. Yep. Forward to Crossing go back. Backwards. So we're good there. And that's the throttle. That's the throttle. And this is the? This is the toot toot. <laughs> Oh, hey! <laughs> you let the handbrake off first. Handbrake off, so is that forwards? You push, pull it, press the button, and release. Yeah. Okay. Right, and. Oh, fantastic! We're going with good pressure. Right, okay. push up gently forward. Oh, oh. Wow! Take it back! Oh. <laughs> I would never get sick of that. Hello, Betty. Hello. Sorry, Betty. Are we going to be full throttle up the hill? Uh, yeah. Right. And turn. Yeah, just a bit. 
You're an absolute legend. Thank you very much. I'll just check for any dints while we're here. <laughs> Frank is clearly a remarkable man, and he had one more surprise up his sleeve, which frankly beggars belief. So, Frank, that Land Rover was pretty special, but you've done something this year which is even more special than that. Explain what this is up here. Well, that is the best thing I've ever done. I'm raising a million, 100,000 pounds for Alzheimer's Research UK. 1.1 1 .1 million pounds. 1 point, yeah. That, Unbelievable. And I did that by rowing across the Atlantic solo, being the oldest man to do it unassisted. So what age were you when you? 70. So rowing across the Atlantic at 70, what was that like? Well, it's, uh, there's ups and downs. One of the big, the, the big up is raising the 1.1 million pound for Alzheimer's research. And I got more of a buzz out of raising that money than anything else. It was rowing the Atlantic enabled me to do that. Amazing. And, and you've, um, got, you've got some props Well, here. that's, that's like, like the down. Their props are oars. This is, this is broken hat. This is an oar I had which got stuck under the boat and bro broke off. Oh um, only something as simple as that. It didn't get caught by a big wave. I just got, it got stuck and I couldn't get it back. And oh, it's like, oh, it crutch it out. Wow. So when did you set off? I set off on the 12th of December from La Gamora, which is just south of Tenerife. Okay, and you arrived? In Antigua, I think, about, about, I think it was about the 6th or 7th of uh, February. I wanted to get there for Valentine's Day, so I was going to have Valentine's, but I got there too early. In fact, we were all by Valentine's Day, we had it at home. <laughs> okay, so that's 50 some odd days? 56 days. 56 days. That's, that's good, that, isn't it, for an out chat? That's unbelievable. It is, yeah, yeah. And I've heard you've got plans to do it again. Oh, yeah. My plan is that in 18 months' time, in February 2023, I'm going to set off again um, across the Atlantic from Tenerife okay. to Antigua. I'm going to do it again solo. Um, hopefully it'll be a match race with a, um, a lady. The record for a man to row across the Atlantic is 30 days. Okay. For a woman, it's 50 days. And, and I think that that's a record that can be broken. I'd like to challenge a lady that, uh, let, let's see who can break the lady's record. And do you think you'll break your 1.1 million? I can get that buzz again by raising another million and tying it into rowing across the Atlantic. Fantastic. Well, Frank, you're a fascinating man. It's been a real pleasure coming here and meeting you, so thank you for having us. It's not often you find project cars like this, and it's not often you find guys like Frank. If ever a car was truly alive, this is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to DriveTribe.